Hey everybody, D Dog, Dave Raw for Dynamic Main Rainmakers. Tuesday night, medical courier run, specializing in the veterinarian side of the house. Got my evening run, my route about 60 miles around Colorado Springs, and it's April 19th. 78 degrees, Yilesers. 78 degrees? That's amazing. But um, 78 degrees and people are going crazy. They're driving like maniacs. Uh, I guess it is rush hour after all. And because people are driving like maniacs, it's putting me behind. And uh can't do much about that. That's okay. I know I'll make up for it. A lot has changed in the way this route structured before. At the end of the route, I had to take samples to a transfer person, and then they took them on to wherever. Uh, they had their own routes, and they ended up in Denver with all this stuff. Uh, now, all I do is just drop it in the final lockbox, and uh, take a picture of it, and I can go home instead of waiting an additional 30 to 45 minutes just waiting for him to show up. That's good. Something uh, today I was asked, hey, can I? Your is your company hiring? Is Antec hiring? That's the group I work directly with. Uh, I don't know. That's the company I work directly with as a sub, and that they may be hiring. So this is starting to make me think that I need to get this master route stuff going. Um, I know it's going to pick up during the summer. They're going to need more drivers. And uh, I'm hoping to get that going. I don't think it's going to happen with the group I'm currently with. But there's a, a group that's based out of Denver that does medical work. And they're all over the state. Uh, they actually have a form on their website to fill in for master contracts. I know you've been hearing me talking about this a lot, but uh, <laughs> I need to get this going. I, I really want people to have the opportunity to get into this business. If they want to come under me, under Dynamic Rainmakers, that's even better. Uh, They'll keep you moving. Right now, I'm just doing these evening runs because I have a 9 to 5. And this is relatively easy to do after that. Cuts it close, but I still get out on my route. And uh, I think the more people start uh, realizing that it's something you can do, uh, <laughs> there's going to be more people wanting to do it. Yes, there are some startup costs. You do have to have your own vehicle, of course. You have to have just a regular uh, automotive coverage for doing this type of stuff. Uh, usually uh, have a background check of some kind. Then they uh, give you training for certifications. You do have to have certifications, not necessarily for the veterinarian and general courier work, but for the human medical courier, yes, you do have to have certifications. There's groups that handle that. Um, it helps if you get a TSA. I've always been mentioning that. It helps if you get a TWIC if you're in a coastal area or an area that has uh, inland waterways. Um, I also have, and this you don't have to have, this is something I got, is a USDA. T classification and that allows you to transport animals like cats and dogs and stuff. Uh, you can do that type of work as well, uh, but that's not doesn't work the same way. It's not really courier work. It's more uh, expedite if you want to call it that. Um, so that's another option for everybody getting in this. I'd really like to get this going. Um, the contracting world in the way of what I'm doing in my nine to five is getting kind of ridiculous and I don't know what's going to happen. 
Um, but I need to have that job anyway because of the benefits. Uh, so if I do the master contract, I can still do the nine to five, but I'll be working in a different capacity. I'll be more of a logistics manager, uh, taking care of managing the routes and the people, finding the right people, and uh, you know, taking care of all the paperwork and stuff. So we'll see how that goes. I really want to get into this more, and uh, but still be. I have a way of keeping my 9 to 5. I need that. I know I'm starting to get a lot more subscribers on this channel. I really appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, so everybody else, like, subscribe, share. Uh, I'm putting together an outline of what I want to cover in an actual video that describes this business. You know, there's other courier groups out there that have their own channels they will give you an idea of what this is about. I'm approaching it a little bit differently because I do this as a vlog. Not much really happens on these routes. <laughs> so this is a time period between my uh, furthest north pickup point and I go down to Fountain from here. That's my furthest southern pickup point. Uh, so that that's good. Like I said, this is about a 60 mile route every Monday through Friday. It's in the evening. And now that it's summertime, it's going to be a little bit different. It's easier, really. <laughs> Which you wouldn't think it would be, but what makes it easier is it's warmer and it's lighter, of course, in the evening. Uh, so that's what's going on today, 19th of April at 77 degrees and uh, I'll be talking to you guys later and I'll let you know when I'm going to release that training video or that more educational video. Talk to you later guys. Bye.